Of course it's gonna come down raining. I got off work today and it's raining. Now we have this TV. Our wind normally comes from this direction. But our fear is this thing's gonna start whipping. So I bought this from TSC today. I'm gonna screw this into the house and then use one of these bungee cords to cover a corner. Evidently they don't make bungee cords that are really long. I don't know, I think I'm gonna mount one right there and see what happens. All right, so that's not the best way in the world, but it doesn't let it out. So we'll take that. And of course I couldn't go through TSA today without buying plants, but I got my jalapeno. I was gonna plant them in the ground real quick, but I really don't wanna get that wet. As you can see, it has stopped raining, but it is now dark, but I still have peppers to put in the ground. Getting our new shed we got here. Can't really figure out how to open it. Got so many things, but this is what I'm looking for. I had a tomato plant die on me. I just have to find it and then put this one in its spot. Yeah, I definitely think this one is not gonna make it. All right, so that one looks pretty good. I now have to go get the torch because uh, I need some holes in the ground. Since tomorrow my project and this weekend was gonna be bush hogging the fields, I don't think I'm doing that now. I'm definitely gonna have to rethink about what I'm gonna do for the weekend. It's probably gonna have something to do with that. On a side note, these potatoes are looking fantastic. But I have this gap in between my potatoes and my sweet potatoes. And by, by the way, the sweet potatoes are looking awesome too. And the one thing that we have not planted is onions. So I'm thinking about taking this pallet out because this is what we're, where my dirt was gonna be. And then tilling that little spot up right there and planting onions. Think that might be a good idea? I mean, that's the only thing we haven't planted yet, I don't think. Get the old torch and burn some holes in here. That is a lot harder to do when it's wet. All right, so I got my six holes cut out, burn out. All right, so by flashlight, we got six pepper plants and one tomato in the ground. These right here will mean that I have 60 pepper plants and still room to come down here. Kind of looking in the other holes, uh, my okra is coming up. Uh, this ain't okra, but uh, okra's in there somewhere, hopefully. But I don't know. Some of them are coming up, some of them are questionable. Some of my beans are coming up. Now these might be questionable because uh, the kids might not have put beans in here. That's the ones they helped me with, so uh, we'll see if anything comes up. But definitely, uh, I think that's zucchini. I think I planted zucchini. And then there's some pickles. Pickles are coming up. I just jobbed those in the ground. So all in all, not too bad of the garden. That black fabric really lets you uh, be able to plant and still let the plants get water. So that's a really good plus. Definitely gonna be keep on putting that back on the ground. 